Hello, this is Michael Gio, and I'm joined by my cat, Diablo. <laughs> I know. I thought it would be fun to have a co-host. My kitty. Teddy Kiki. I can tell you're very really annoyed, but you're going to have to move it. You're going to have to move it. You're going to be here for 40 minutes. Up to now. Just stay. 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 Stay with for me. Stay with for me. Okay, anyway. Today we are into to Has an Hotel with You by Neil by Godzilla featuring Neil's game. Okay, you can And let's be ahead, shall we? Let me say that about my cat out. I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah, shall we? Hello, everybody. I'm the Godzilla Reader, and uh, yeah, it's been quite some time. Yeah, been a while since I like since I last said anything, especially with the last one. But I'm back um, with the first video of 2024. Uh, now, don't worry, you guys. I'm planning to make an update video, basically explaining what's going on with this channel and what I have planned. But honestly, my only excuse as to why I'm uploading anything is I've been busy. That That's basically the excuse I can ask. But anyways, enough with that. Let's focus with the video right now. Now, as you saw, yeah, I noticed, as you saw I in the title, it. basically, Spiky. I'm doing a review. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something that I kind of Very promised to do with uh, Sonic Frontiers. And I never did it, but who knows? Maybe I'll I'll do it in the past, but uh, no, in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm doing a review, and this time, I guess for the very first time, I am with someone. Yeah, first collab on the channel, although not really a first collab since I've actually collaborated collaborated with this guy in his channel. In fact, if you guys are I am clever on your are channel, aware of yeah, a certain series called uh, the Chain Chaos Breakdown. Well, that's who I'm working at, and it's it in his channel. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Neil's Gamer. What's good, party people? This is Neil's Gamer 04. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, Let's just look past that. But, yeah. Yeah, for the first time. So, apparently, this is the first time actually on Reader's Channel for a change. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You, you, you being on mine. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the funny thing. I'm, I'm. I, this is the first time you're in my channel, but I'm in your channel like so many times. Yeah, it's like Jesus Christ. When did my when did my channel become a collab? Oh, when did that become a collab channel? Wait, Jesus. <laughs> like literally for the longest time, some of the videos on there it like always had you or someone else with before that. <laughs> Pretty, yeah, pretty much. But uh, it's happening. But, but aside from that, yeah, for the for, this time around, as Reader said, we're basically going to be reviewing something. And since a uh, new little show comes, um, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Has Been Hotel, released recently. We're going to talk about that and give out our thoughts for how we feel about its first episode. Now, well, I've already watched the current six episodes, so I'm, all, so I'm already up to date on the series. I think you mean... Since the reader sense. hasn't watched the rest of the shows, we're only going to be critiquing it from episode one at this point. If we do more videos on this, we're probably going to be critiquing it either yeah. through each episode or probably the series as a whole. Depends on how reader wants. 
Yep, that's basically the plan. So yeah. Let's uh, yeah, let's start this with the yeah the first episode of Asbin Hotel. Oh, I guess for some people who don't know. As been, for those who aren't aware, Has Hotel started out as a uh, pilot animation yeah. with the premise be being basically Lucifer's daughter, Charlie, trying to find, a way, find a, basically a way for sinners to go in heaven so that they don't get uh, repeatedly killed uh, with the extermination. That's basically the premise. A simple premise, but honestly, from what the pilot had to show, definitely had something really interesting. Now that the series has officially came out, we can finally watch its glory. And, well, episode one, well, how about we talk about the first episode as in deeper parts, I guess. Like, uh, I guess we, I guess the first thing we could start with this first episode is, I suppose, the animation. Now, as, I guess as you, ex as you expect for a series like this, yeah, the animation really isn't that smooth at all compared to the pilot. Although, considering uh, how these types of series work, especially with the budget stuff. There's actually a reason why the animation looks that way. It's mostly because a lot of people from the pilot will let go, including some of the animation staff. So, yeah... The people who are animating this is A24. They're animators, not the people from the pilot. Nobody from the pilot returned except for Fizzy Pop. But that's about it. A lot of people from the pilot will let go, sadly. So, yeah. So, a lot of the animation stuff. Of course, the animation doesn't look different from the actual pilot. Like, come on. Hit the cast, the animation crew will let go. Like a lot of people will let go from the Hasman Hotel pilot to this. So yeah. Of course it's gonna look different. What do you expect? Plus I do think the anim but on the animation I do really I think the pilot was a little bit smoother. But <sighs> The animation for episode one it, it, it's hit and miss episode one is has some good animation quality but then it's hit and miss i guess i guess it, it's hit and miss but that's about it it's hit and miss, in my opinion. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess it was a needed sacrifice. Although, if I have to be honest, the animation, it, it's not terrible. But uh, I will say it's... Uh, not, not, no, I kind of wish it, was, it had that smoothness that the pilot had. But... Once again, I guess it was a needed sacrifice because, well, I I will, I don't I'm not saying that I know everything about how these types of things work, but uh, I guess uh, with like having a budget and all that sense, uh, yeah, I mean, series it that actually a, is like published in like uh, in the big media, <laughs> yeah, I guess some uh, some stuff had to be um, made, uh, some like decision has to be taken for it to happen. I don't know. What do you think, Niels? Well, even though I do actually like the animation for so one, I do kind of have to agree with you, especially in looking back at the pilot. I do know after I watched episode one of the show, I did see like a few scenes again of the original pilot. And I actually noticed that, yeah, in the pilot, at least like, in most parts of it, the character, like the way how some characters are animated, they move a lot more fluently and like just seems like there's a lot more energy there when it comes to like how they move through the scenes versus most of the time in the main show. I don't know what the exact reason that that is, 
I don't know if it's the. I, I don't know if the show itself has been made on the cheaper side since. Sometimes for some animated shows, that might be the case why the animation might be a little more limited. Like, it could be that, or maybe the show is probably, uh, I guess, mostly edited through rigging. Like, in order to make the characters look more uh, on model for most scenes that they're in, since a lot of animated shows nowadays kind of do that. Where they'll, draw the char- they'll already have the characters designed, but basically, for certain scenes, they'll be rigging them just like they'll basically rigging rig. That is not the way to use the trolley. In a sense, so they uh, really have to redraw the character like every single time they draw like a frame that they show up in. Sometimes some shows like some shows nowadays will do that, but not all. Of them. I why did she? Why did you guys have to use that them, image of the child? Or if it's a case where it was made on the cheaper side, for why some of the movements seem, I guess, not as fluent. But at this time, like I think, like it's fluent enough for you to see where it's like there isn't exactly like a dull moment in the show. At least like when seeing the seeing what the characters do, they seem to be reactive for the most part. I'd say at least like on the animation department, I don't know if I'd say it's a downgrade from the pilot, especially since, again, the pilot is literally just there to pretty much be made to introduce the premise of the show and like to pretty much get the show greenlit. But I think it, 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 it serves well for what it was trying to do. In my opinion, I, I think it serves well. But then again, since this is the first episode, I guess you shouldn't expect too much crazy stuff happening, but I say it works for what they were going with for this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I can agree with some of the stuff. I uh, honestly, what I hope is that at least, maybe in some parts, we will get like that smooth uh, animated animation. Like I know some. Se- I know series like The How House or even Amphibia actually had. Yeah, that's some like, scenes where like they were they like actually used smooth animation like i guess if i can get an example for both movies in the hell house when uh, Luz and Ed are dancing yeah that's like a really like smooth animation if we're in phoebia and uh, activating your calamity for or calamity superpower form for the first time yeah that also is a smooth animation so i'm hoping that uh, once i continue maybe you know this neos but once i guess i continue with this series at least, I guess we could get some, like more and, like, and, yeah. smoother animation, or actually, maybe maybe if it's not smooth, like actual like parts of that are actual like w- like that are like great, really really, and really well animated. Yeah, that. Oh my god, why did I struggle saying that? <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, that's basically part of the animations. Now we can move on on, I guess, the character side, especially since, uh, well, the characters, the characters have been redesigned and also little new, little voice actors for uh, the characters. Um, I guess, I, for what I could say with the characters, I guess the redesigns for like Charlie and Vaggy, they're pretty good, honestly. Yeah, they look honestly. This is the best redesign that. These are two have been given. As for the rest, well, as from what I've heard, as a, from what I've heard, <laughs> Alistair and Angel Do- and Angel Dust apparently all got redesigns, and uh, uh, yeah, what difference? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Um, the only difference when it comes to like, Alistair is just that his hair is a little bit longer. At least, like I guess, comparing how he looks in the pilot versus. The versus the main show because he did. This is not just Neo saying this. Why is everybody saying that his hair is a little bit longer? For Christ's sake, his hair is the same fucking length. But people start making up this dumb thing that his hair is a little bit longer. His hair is the same goddamn length like it was in the fucking pilot. It's the same goddamn length, people. Yeah. 
and you just like the only difference between this design and the pilot it is literally just um his suit he had white silver outline on his suit that's legit like the only difference between our suit from the pilot and this one there's legit like no differences between the designs like Absolutely no differences whatsoever. <sighs> I don't know why people keep on saying that this that they changed the hair of Alistair. His hair is the same goddamn length. It's the same goddamn length as it was in the pilot. There's no difference whatsoever in his design except for his collar. Except for a little bit of his suits. It's a little bit different. That's legit the only difference. Just mostly his collar. He has a silver outline on his collar now. That's legit the only difference between the design. That's legit the only difference. Anyway, let's continue. It looked just slightly different. Like, at least, like, a, when I was looking back to see some of the differences between the main and the pilot for some of the character designs and, and in, in the case for Alistair I'm pretty sure it probably has something to do with like maybe just like I guess a little bit of his outfit and the difference between the hair since yes. when I was looking at the character it's designs not, like between the pilot and the main same. show his hairstyle did look at least a little bit different from the two of them and at least like from what I remember seeing but in the case for Angel Dust, if there was like any just for how Angel looks, I honestly could not tell you what it is. To me, at least, he looks pretty much the same as he did when the show was like first announced, or at least when the. For Angel Dust, legit, the only difference is. Um, she's wearing a new pair of boots and her gloves. That's legit the only difference between the design. But besides that, she puts she's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same design. And I guess a little bit of her hair is a little bit different. That's about it. But her design is pretty much the same. As it was in the pilot. The only difference is like the outfit's a little bit different than it was in the pilot. Like her outfit's a little bit different than it was in the pilot. That's pretty much the only difference between that and the pilot. Is her outfit. She just has a new outfit. That's pretty much the only difference. When the pilot came out. If there is like a difference, I can't really tell. <laughs> and I guess for Husk, Husk only looks like only a small bit different. I, like, if there is a big difference, I can't really say. Like, the only thing I could probably say is maybe just, like, just a little bit of his height and, I guess, just how the colors look on him now. I, but aside from that, he he also kind of looks mostly about the same as he did in the pilot. He, actually, I was going to say that I think the only difference that Usk has with, like, this original design in the pilot, I think he's wearing overalls. That and his wings. That, that or I don't know. I, I, it looks like he's wearing overalls, or I don't, maybe my eyes are deceiving me. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, we're not deceiving that. He's that wearing part, overalls. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I guess we can agree that in terms of character designs, yeah, they look pretty good, honestly. There's not, there's none one that looks bad. Uh, although, except for that one know, character, which, which uh, we will get on later on. I guess, uh, guess personality. Well, yeah, they're still the same as they were in the in pilot. Um, I guess Charlie. Yeah, Charlie's still trying to like with her idea of like having sinners go in the go in heaven. Uh, Vaggy being, I guess, uh, the unprotective girlfriend. Yeah, there's a lot of spike issues. Alistair being uh, kind of the tool that he is, and also I guess, uh, and also one detail that they that I actually like that they had it is the fact that. To him, he thinks that, like, I guess for him to, like, having, like, a commercial for, like, the hotel, I, for him, the best way to do it is having, having it being on radio and not, like, a 
on the basically more TV since since actually that's a part of his character which I actually find it interesting like oh okay he's a basically a cultured man he thinks to him it thinks that he, to him it thinks he thinks that um, basically um, radios are are a better way for like I guess having uh, publicity than just uh, modern television tele basically. He's he's basically old fashioned, or I guess as some people say, he's basically an old head. <laughs> oh. uh, pretty much. Um, let's see, Angel Dust. Well, he's um, well, he's kind of he's horny. That's that's all I can freaking say. Yep, he's pretty much. Yeah, he's as risque as ever. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, Usk. Well, he's still that uh, grumpy character. Which yeah, Nifty. Nifty is crazy as always. And uh, yeah, but she's yeah. a lot. And yeah, that's what <laughs> we could say wasn't... about the cast. Yeah, I, I guess we could say that their personality is so consistent with easier. how they were in the pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna say that. Man. From what I've seen, pretty on point. Almost from skip a beat, they pretty much all seem like the same way that we remember them. Nice. And I guess for the voice actors, well, yes, let's see, voice actors. Everyone seemed to do good, but I guess at some point, uh, let's see, Alistair, at some points, there's moments where, like, his voice isn't, like, radioed, which, and he makes, and it sounds a bit weird. I don't so, know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah like, even though I actually kind of like Alistair's new voice, at the same time, I will admit, Alistair uh, pretty much sounds like there's, like, some points where they just don't have the radio effect, or at least if there, if it is there, because I can hear it, but it I doesn't seem as effective as it was with his original one. Like, I, I think it's an audio, I feel like it's an audio mixing problem. That's, that, that's probably what it is. I think it might have been, like, an audio issue when it came to, like, doing his voice. Except it, it doesn't seem like they changed that. It, like, it seems like it. Either they didn't notice, or maybe it was just like a deliberate choice by a busy pop or someone else. I don't know for sure. I don't see the like difference. Her or the voices. Maybe the sure audio directors. Sense. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but there. Alistair pretty much sounds the same to me. I don't see the difference in the voice. I honestly don't. He sounds pretty much the same to me. I really don't see that much difference between the voice as his pilot. I guess the only difference I can say is a little bit of the radio. His voice has a higher pitch. But he pretty much sounds the same to me. He could I wouldn't even know that it's a different voice out there voice in him, if I'm being honest. I didn't even know that it that was a different voice out there. It sounds it sounds a lot. Like the same voice out there from the pilot. So casting wise, they did a pretty good job finding a voice for out. So yeah, and uh, Charlie and Vaggy, Vaggy, I kind of like that they got a Latino trainer. That's nice. She's Latino now, I guess. I'm not sure if she was Latino in the pilot, but they changed. Sure, I guess she's Latino. Cool, she's Latino. Okay, yeah, this guy that said all Latinas. Not all Latino, I mean Latina. Oh, my bad, not Latina. I mean Latinx. I'm not saying that, no, no, no. I'm not saying Latinx, that's so stupid. It's Latina. She's a Latina now, okay, cool. A Latina. She's Latina, cool. That's cool. I like that. And Alistair... Yeah, I like his voice, Charlie, love her voice, and actually Charlie. I'm not gonna probably the best probably my one of the favorite characters in the show. Not including Alistair. Probably she's probably my second favorite character in the show. Not including Alistair. I'm not being honest. With that said, let's just continue. Well, third, including Angel Dust. Well, uh, uh, eh. I can't pick favorites. I just can't. There is like a clear difference in how he sounds. Like, like I, I mean, uh, of course, it's a no-brainer. Not the same actor from the pilot, but I mean, when it comes to like the effect for his voice, 
it, there's like a clear difference there versus how the effect was used for like the OG. So like again, I don't know if it's like a deliberate voice or if it might just be a mistake that somehow just haven't noticed. I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Um, I guess for Angel Dust, well, the new voice, which if I'm not wrong, is Blake Roman. Um, he's, he's, he does all right with with uh, Angel Dust. I will say they're they're all more for like, he kind of sounds like a, I guess like a Muppet character, but uh, yeah, he, he Muppet does character. <laughs> I don't know, but I know he sounds Blake like Roman as Angel Dust. It's all right, although I will say. Um, I will say the time where his voice actually works is with the song "Poison," which uh, I'm guessing it, it will be a, it will be like playing at the series. But uh, yeah, the song was like released before episode one, so yeah, I'll say when he sings as Angel Toss, yeah, he does a pretty good job with it. Oh yeah, and uh, I think that was the episode. Poison, poison. Oh, it was, it was, it was. It's my. F- I wouldn't say it's my favorite, considering that episode sets happen and that song happened. Um, you didn't know that one's my favorite, but this is number two. This is honestly one of the best has one of the best husband hotel songs. Poison. That's that's a that's a beautiful song. I think it's yeah, it's a good song. Why does Angel Dust always get the good songs? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Song, if I remember correctly. Like, that's the song he plays during that episode. Oh, okay. Okay. And I guess uh, the big one in terms of uh, choice of voice acting, David Cape as Oscar. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah the goat. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You're going to hear me waving. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't, I don't blame you. I, I mean, it's funny because... Uh, uh, David in terms Cave, of the, uh, the career, Cave David, I've only, I've, I guess I know him a little. Yeah, I do know him a little bit, but I haven't really seen all of the stuff where he, he's part of. I've, I guess from Oscar, I know that he voices uh, King Andreas in uh, Amphibia. So I can give you a few. I can give you a few other roles he played. He, one of his other ones that he's best known for is Spawn, and also Goliath from the Gargoyles cartoon. And he was also the Flame King in Adventure Time. Oh dang! Yeah, <laughs> yeah this man's got a good has, has a good uh, he has a good catalog of characters. Although I, I guess I, I also kind of this is probably not gonna work much for Husk, but I, I feel like he probably would have said it uh, in the past. Like there, there's one uh, performance that Keith David did in a movie called uh, I think it was called um. Uh, Else from the hood or something. I do. I think I don't remember the exact name, but I know at the end of the movie, his character basically serves as like a double like character. He literally just pulls up to the guy, guy and says, "Welcome to hell." Before he calls it, before he calls him uh, the MF word, and then pulls him down. <laughs> I kind of oh, want to see Huster just play like, Huster just do that for one scene, <laughs> or at least like have it be a flash. I mean, I mean. Oh God! Oh yeah, that'll be hilarious. But. Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah. Keep uh, David as uh, Oscar. Actually, actually works. It actually, yeah, yeah it actually does work. Yeah, I think we can agree that some of the voting in terms of. Did you just call Husk Oscar? Did you not think before you talk? His name is Husk, not Oscar. Husk, Husk, not Oscar. Husk. I just never was. Oh, oh, God. His name is Husk, as the reader Neos. His name is Husk. Not Oscar. Husk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> of the characters yeah they're, they're all they're pretty good yeah i think they're i think they're all good the only ones i think the only things i the only ones i think i really would switch just for like the og voices is just uh i 
it's just Angel Dust, even though I actually do like his new one. Like, I kind of want to know how it would have been if uh, Michael uh, Kovach, I hope I'm saying his name right, if he was still, like, a Angel the show. And uh, I don't remember the name of the guy who did uh, Alistair in the original. In the original I believe pilot, it was Edward I kind of wish he stayed, too. I like the new one, but I wish the... Edward Boss, I believe that's his here. name. Everyone else on the other end, I, I, I kind of like their new voices more. Was, was it Dante? Yeah. You shouldn't so, even be surprised. He has his name. I mean, yeah, it, it's Keith David, of course. It, it's it's the goat. It's the goat. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't diss him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. That character. Um. I guess. The songs in this, well, okay, there's a second song, but uh, we'll uh, talk about it once we get to the actual prom- the actual uh, problem that we have. Uh, yeah, yeah now, now the song, uh, Happy Day in Hell. I think it's a good song, honestly. And I think, yeah, yeah it really is a good song. It really, like, uh, shows... Uh, um, Charlie's, I guess, a determination to, like, really want... Uh, like have this goal that she has really like work and uh yeah it's a good song although i will say the things that i don't like is well maybe if they actually added that smooth uh, animation maybe it would have like more like energy and color to it because unlike compared to the other song in the pipe yeah no it was a crazy animation this one is just uh, charlie just to taking a stroll in the in the freaking uh, city. And uh, also another thing that I don't like about the song is when Baggy sings and uh, no offense but whenever she sings yeah, whenever she sings she doesn't that good. I thought, it, I thought her singing was okay. Like, not my favorite singer in the But then you're proven wrong when um, was it another goddamn song? Whatever it takes comes out. You were wrong. You were wrong about Vaggy, Godzilla, because whenever whatever it takes when that song came, that song was perfect. It was perfect. Down to the last minute detail. Like I swear to God, all these songs are amazing. They're all amazing. I couldn't find one fault with any of these songs. I love all these songs that it has been hotel. Like the only song that I don't like in the show is um in Has been Hotel is um what's the name of that song? Um I think there's only like two songs. One is um More Than Anything Revise and that's one song because it's just a revamp of a previous song. And um it's also Sorry, that's another song I don't like. But those are the only two songs I don't like in the show. But I wouldn't say they I wouldn't say I don't like them. I just think they're not as good as the other songs compared to the other songs in the show. But the rest of the songs are perfect. Well, another song that I don't like is um Welcome to Heaven. I don't like that song, mostly because it's a little bit too short. It's a little bit too short. I wish you could have given us a longer song to introduce us to heaven. But it's alright. It's alright. I guess. Here in the show, but I think for the most part it was alright. However, like, like, I was going to say that the scene itself is kind of played in an almost ironic sense because Literally, as the song it says, it, it's a happy day in, in hell. However, the thing is, um, you do see you, you do see Charlie dancing around the, the entire place and literally saying, "Well, as the song states, a happy day in well hell." At the same time, like when you like hear everything and sit from like her perspective, you would think, "Oh, well, maybe she's at this with like a brighter, brighter outlook, saying, oh, things could get better." But then when you all the crap going on with every other person there, you realize, oh, oh yeah, no, um, this place is freaking terrible. Everybody's <laughs> trying to hurt each other, or everybody's like, 
kind of like weird or just kind of a little messed up in some places. <laughs> like, the, 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 like, the song is good. Don't get me wrong. But the same case, it's like, I feel like that's kind of the thing that makes it, I don't want to say super funny in that sense, but at least ironic in the sense where it's like, you're on Charlie's side and you want to see her outlook on things. At the same time, you cannot deny the fact that everything else that they are showing you, they're actually telling you, no, this place is a pigsty. You do not want to be here. <laughs> yeah, a little, oh god, yeah, I will, I'll, yeah, I'll give you that. It, it's pretty ironic. Like, oh, I'm singing how this is so, I'm, I'm singing about how this is going to be the best day, and best day in this place, and then, oh god, this is, this is a freaking messed up. Actually, in terms of funny moments, well, I guess, uh, yeah, there were some pretty funny moments in this. Well, I guess we could all go over the plot. I guess we could go over a little bit with the plot, although I'll say it, the plot is, in this episode isn't really all that big. Basically, the plot is, basically, <clears throat> it, it takes place after an, extermi an extermination event. And right now, Charlie, Maggie, and are trying to, like, figure out of, of a way... Basically, they're trying to figure out a way to basically make a commercial for the hotel. And um, while they're trying to figure out that, um, Charlie receives a call from her dad saying that she actually gets an interview with, uh, with the Angels. Again, we're going to go over them a bit later on. But yeah, basically, basically she, yeah, basically she gets an interview. She managed to get an interview with the and, uh, Basically goes in her way to do that. Uh, yeah, basically while also singing in the song. Yeah. Now I think I think it, the funny moments happen while she's also having an interview with the angels. But basically, some funny moments that do happen, I will say, uh, I guess when Baggy's trying to like uh, make the the commercial for like the hotel, and honestly, I think the funniest one is whenever she like is basically recording Nifty. Whenever Nifty's looking at the camera, she's like, so did I. She's like, she ain't responding. She's staring at the camera like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, God, Nifty. Poor girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we got, we got all, I guess, all the ghost stuff. Now it's time to talk about... The bad stuff, and honestly, all I can say are the angels. Oh, God. Yeah, freaking, yeah, the freaking angels. So basically, who are the angels uh, that Charlie is going to have an interview with? Well, as it turns out, it's uh, Adam accompanied with what appears to be an exterminator girl. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna let Neos have this one, because, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, you have a lot to say about that. Okay, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. These two freaking suck. <laughs> oh, and, God. And I'm, like, I I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm already going How? I'm gonna let him explain explain himself first before I give my thoughts. I should probably a little deep into that right now. But they freaking suck. The <laughs> moment these two were in the episodes, one of them in particular, Adam showed up. My mood for for this episode from a hundred down to literally down to maybe maybe not entirely zero, but it went down pretty low. Tell my experience with this episode. I liked the episode at first. Don't get me wrong. I still think there were good things. The animation I loved. And the character designs. But Adam, oh my freaking God. I could not stand this dude the moment I first saw him on the screen. I first saw... I, I, when I first saw this episode and heard the stuff he was saying, it annoyed me to know him literally... It's like, okay, so how can I describe this character? Basically, the, the man is is basically a narcissist and an egotist. That, that's basically like the best way to sum up it. Sum up. That's and kind of the point. To be an angel. So, I mean, naturally, 
It, it would make That's sense. That's kind of the point. Busy Pops trying to like, represent okay, Angel. Okay, I can that part. It would make sense that he would be a little corrupted. Like he, I, a little in the high bit of, on, on a high horse. Like I can give you. That's that. kind of point. But then it gets to kind of where he, where he actually brags about it so much that he's literally talking about one thing that also annoyed me to no end. Every time he talks about it, and even I was Charlie on this one. It's like, God dang, can you hang it, man? Shut up. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> like, no. this is not the reason why she's even here. She, she's here to negotiate with you right now, and this is what you talk about? Like, okay, we get it. You're high and mighty. You're the first angel, or the first human to become an angel. Oh, okay, good, good, good for you. We do not care about the other stuff you're talking about here. <laughs> oh, God. And, also, I have, and, and I have another thing, another critique. Even though I like his design, and that's probably one of the only few things I like about him, at all, open this and later in the show. I have a question. Why the freak does he look like a demon? <laughs> I cannot be the only person that this. He literally looks like he's one of the demons himself. That's because he's but probably like, the like, like, demon. Is there something I'm, I'm missing here? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing something or maybe he's going to. Like, uh, I'm not going to. In like the season finale, he's or something, I don't know. Like, dude. He looks like it. You cannot tell me he doesn't look like a demon. Like, okay, the colors on his outfit. Yeah, definitely rainbows for an angel. Everything else. Down to his face to even those dang horns on his head. No, this man like a demon. Are we trying to say he's a Nephilim? Is he a, a, an angel? An angel demon hybrid now? Is that what's going on yeah, here? Uh, I, I don't know, but... Uh... Well, yeah, that's what that the edge itself yeah. also look like. So. I'll say this, even though this is the first episode. Actually, believe it or not, yeah, here's some I more. Think the trailer. Here's some more. But the actresses are wearing helmets. It's explaining lore. This is not even a spoiler. It's explaining lore that Bob them or that said in the pilot that they're not actually wearing helmets. That they're wearing helmets, so that's not actually the face. So he doesn't actually look like that he's just wearing the helmets so yeah sorry for the spoiler but he is wearing the helmets so most of the actresses are wearing helmets they're all wearing helmets so yeah that's not even a spoiler that's legit lore in the episode if people didn't know that they're wearing helmets so it's even said in episode one that that loot is wearing a helmet. So the same thing can be said for Adam. Taylor, when the trailer was announced and these guys actually appeared, yeah, just from the, the fact that they actually swear, yeah, or it was already a red flag that the angels are probably not going to be the, the like, or they're going to be all that portray all that good in this series and after the first episode i can confirm that this is absolutely the worst portrayal you could have done to these guys i mean okay i wouldn't go that far it's like no, yeah I it's like, like angels are you serious that's supposed you to be couldn't point. bother to actually make the okay first of all yeah what do they look like demons where where is the freaking difference in that and why, the why do they swear the why do they like, have this like really like mean mean the Behavior the and all that. It's like, look intimidating. They couldn't even. It's like they didn't yeah, even bother yeah. to actually have. They are actresses. You're not supposed to look. You're not supposed to like them. They're actresses. They kill demons. You read. So of course they're gonna look like demons. They literally kill demons. So they're gonna look intimidating. You want them to look intimidating. You don't want them to be all oh, happy that look all charming when coming down to hell. No, they're gonna look like demons. Ugh. Angels act like divine and like, I guess, uh, respectful and actually like good guys. Like, no. Maybe, okay, maybe later on it gets, I guess... <laughs> The since since, since uh, we only see these two in the first episode, maybe, maybe later on uh, I, the angels are actually going to be better than this. But why? Why is the first guy that we see, Adam, like freaking half of all? Am I? Is there something I'm missing? But 
what the Adam, the the first not only the first guy that we see with this type of design, but why does he act like this? It's like also, yeah, I will agree with you. The fact the first thing that he talks about is just oh my god. Is like his freaking crutch. Like I'm the original crutch. If you you don't know who I am, the original. I'm the one who started this. Call me Dick Monster. No, no, fuck off. No, nobody cares about that. Like I'm with you, and I and I'm even with Charlie in that one scene. It's like, but like you could even. She was bored listening to that. She was annoyed. She's just like, oh my god. Is, is there anything else you can talk about? We we feel like she wouldn't say something like that out loud normally, but I kind of wish she did. It's like. Oh my god, get to the point. And get to the point. This is not why we're here. <laughs> like, this, this is else we're trying to discuss. We're trying to discuss a whole thing about allowing some of the people in the hotel to be redeemed and hopefully get a gateway into heaven and not be exterminated. Yeah. And here you are, not caring whatsoever. And, and the, the only thing you can talk about. Is is your crotch while you're stuffing your face? Like, Jesus Christ, leave the room, bro. Leave the room. This is not what we're talking about. Oh, God. Like, this is not what we need to talk about here. E e yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Yeah, and, um, yeah, just not so stupid. And, and tri oh, yeah, another thing that I think really kind of, I guess, uh, ruins the whole uh, image of the angels, and I, it really, really kind of shows that they didn't even bother is basically in the song, uh, Hell is Forever. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a good song. But the fact that it's a rock and roll type of song, and, and the fact that Adam, while he sings, he also he, he keeps freaking swinging, and he, and he also does that cringy ass, like, get down. Oh, fuck yeah, that, no. No, just, no. And, oh, so another part of the song, which, yeah, really kind of feel like it ruins the angels in this. Basically, they now in the in the um, in the uh, hey. opening, <laughs> basically the oh yeah, okay yeah, maybe that we should have mentioned in the beginning, but think how minimal it is. Uh, yeah, basically the episode starts with flashback, basically kind of like a, a, a flashback that explains, basically tells the story of the Bible with the whole Adam and Eve type of stuff. Looks, creation of earth all of that honestly i didn't really care for it it's pretty minimal although i will say in that in that part they try to like think of like different like a different like side to lucifer and i guess lilith in terms of what they were trying to that they had good intentions even though I, if i'm being honest it doesn't really work at all and considering that what they did actually does end up messing thing up yeah, no. But uh, aside from that, basically in that uh, opening origin story, we get an explanation as to why the angels basically hasn't even even actually uh, for basically the reason is for the extermination, and basically the reason for that is basically so that uh, the population of hell doesn't like grow. They just want to like, uh, I guess, reduce it a bit down. However, in the freaking song that Adam sings, he quite little admits that the only reason they do this is because they it's entertaining. And at this point, all of the, all of the stuff, uh, all of the like good deed, the good, the like the good, the everything that is like good, the good, it anything. Basically, he's trying to say everything, everything that's good about the angels that you would normally. Do not apply to some of the ones in this show. Or at least Adam and his partner in particular. P pretty much. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. But yeah, basically that. Just Yep, as it turns out, the angels are actually more evil, more like male malevolent than the demons. That makes no freaking sense. Well, they're corrupted. Yeah, that's ironic. So... That's, yeah, that's ironic. They're supposed to be good guys Ooh, and they're corrupted be like be like more like so there is in the good side and here they are they acting, they acting like jackass board, and they're they actually are, well, more evil than the angels corrupt. especially since adam oh. quite literally tells shelly oh yeah we're it's gonna move up uh, the extermination for six months i know it's a bit uh, i know it's a bit earlier but honestly i'm getting sick of time and waiting and i want to kill these guys because i do not like them <sighs> racist much 
Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, not now that I think about it. Oh yeah. Oh no. If that's the case, if like if someone even has to say that the angels are racist, yeah, that that doesn't sound right. I mean, I know the race part is kind of like thrown thrown around a little too much, but for Adam, I feel like it just kind of does apply. <laughs> Okay then, yeah, I think, okay, yeah, I think we can agree that the Angels were absolutely the worst part in this episode. They really ruined everything. Say this, and some of them are a little better late in the show, but for this, yeah, no, they give you a pretty bad impression of what to expect. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I guess, yeah, we've said everything, and I guess we could uh, end it with a conclusion. Um, so, yeah, what are, our, what are our thoughts on this episode? I guess what I can say is that it had a good beginning, but then went down, downhill ever since uh, the Angels appeared. Honestly, it's a sh honestly, I will say it is a bit of a shame that this is... Like, it's a shame now this is how... how we get like a first look of the first episode. Honestly, it really does not give a good impression, especially with the with the, the angels. Which honestly, I feel like they didn't even bother. It's like I feel like the only reason they had them act, act this way is just so that we get bad jokes. Which uh, no, that's that's not what I'm asking for. Especially for for oh, series like this, like wrong. it has bad a jokes. really clear premise. I don't and know what. You're honestly, I feel like for this type. Of yeah, this type of show, I feel like some decision must have been taken so that it works. But again, the angels, they're not even different from demons. And honestly, it does question a lot of whether it's even a good idea for demons to even go to heaven, considering that if this is how the angels act, there is no freaking difference. But uh, yeah, I, that's just my opinion on this first episode. It started out good, but honestly went downhill. I guess maybe later on it gets better, but honestly, th that's for me to see. So, what about you, Niels? In my opinion, I feel like the first episode doesn't really give you a good impression of how this series is going to be. I mean, the beginning of the episode, the episode started off mostly strong. Like, it was decent. It, it was pretty good. But as it went on, like, the moment the two Angel characters show up, that's kind of where things kind of fell flat. Like, that, that's kind of where it's like... I don't know. Your right. entire it's mood is the, going to be changed. Supposed to be, like, you're not supposed to... You're either going to, going to so, like, or you're either going to like, or you're going to hate these guys. And personally, for me, I hated the two characters they had representing them. Like, the ones you'll see later in later episodes feel like are portrayed a little better. But here, these two were th these two were terrible. Adam especially. I could not stand any moment I saw of him in this show. At least like for this episode, I definitely could not stand. I definitely could not stand him. And literally, he is the thing that ruined the whole episode for me. Him and literally <laughs> just like his his cocky attitude. Uh, I guess that's, I, I guess that's a bit of a pun. <laughs> but still, but pun intended. But. I, like, I could not stand seeing him at all. Like, with all the stuff he said, and literally just how he treats Charlie throughout the entire moment. Pretty much just telling her, yeah, there's there's really, like, no hope for you guys. You guys are going to be finished in the next few months. I hope you're, I'm like, I hope you're ready for that. It's like, it, it, it's like, Jesus. It's like, are you guys supposed to be the one setting a good example? Last time I checked, angels are supposed to be holy. Why the heck are you two not like that? Simple. Bad ride. Bad portrayal. Okay. Okay, not to be rude. Maybe later on the writing gets a bit better, but uh, I don't know. Just, again, it really irks me that these, these are the angels. Like, come on! And, and it hurts that this is how we're introduced to them in this show. It's like... Well, not all the angels are bad. You couldn't have done it uh, any other way. You have to have them act like Papa's chicks. Really? <laughs> Well, you heaven is... really have to have it be that, and you have to be one of the guys who represents them is literally like just some ego, an egotistical guy that wants to be a rock star that keeps talking about, he keeps talking about one thing literally nobody wants to hear. 
Angel probably knew about about it, but he, but I'm pretty sure even Angel would get annoyed hearing this guy's voice. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, so our first impression of the first episode. Since Neos has seen the others, I I still need to get around watching the rest. I just hope that it's a bit of an improvement because well, if this is well, how you how you introduce uh, the first episode of a of a series that has been like on hiatus for quite some time ever since the pilot, yeah, no, not a good impression, honestly, not really good one. Okay, I don't know. So, right, yep, yes, that's I yep, good. that's pretty much all we have I to won't say. say it's um, as, for as good as what we're doing, I think it's okay. It, we're doing right kinda... now, well, I've been thinking of actually since honest, I find I think it's a bit. I think making a review with like and talking about it with someone else, it actually seems more fun than doing your own. I think I could have this being a, a running, uh, running series. Huh? So yeah, a new series uh, happening. Uh, yeah, me just doing reviews and uh, yeah. Aside from Asbin Hotel, which yeah, I mean, we I guess it's a, we're gonna go through the later episodes. I would like to also make uh, reviews on other stuff, like if there's a chance, maybe Sonic Frontiers, especially with that C. But that's uh, for me to see. So um, yeah, um, Neos, if you if I guess if you have, uh, anything to say. I guess maybe I actually actually where can people find you? Okay, uh, okay. Well, it's like uh, for what people can find me, you can find me on. Oh, you can find me on my YouTube channel, that being Neo or Neo Gamer Four, or you could just type in the tag Neo Under Cyber, and you'll find me that way. But if you were looking for me on anywhere else, well, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter. And Instagram under Neo underscore Cyber, which is basically going to be where I post all my related stuff. No, but the walk back. Actually, speaking of which, there's probably a chance that if any of you are staying tuned for any of the stuff going on on my channel, there might be a chance that I might be making or related videos eventually. When I can't really say, but there, there's a chance that I'm considering on doing that eventually if anyone's interested. Ooh, okay. Well, you heard it, guys. Subscribe to his channel. Actually, no, subscribe to his channel. He makes good videos. And considering that, uh, if I guess if you're interested with the whole Kinchin Chaos a breakdown that we've been doing at this moment, it's in his channel. So, yep, go ahead, do that. So, um, we'd really appreciate it if you guys joined in for that. Oh yeah, it was a pretty fun. Although, although, I'll tell, although I'll tell you this for anybody who hasn't seen those videos, get ready to see some. Uh, how can I put this? For Rito to release some unadulterated nerdery, <laughs> especially in those most late, the latest videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, that's for another time. So, um, yeah. I'm the Godzilla Reader, and... And this is Neos Gamer. And we'll see you guys in another review. When? Who knows? But that's all we have to say, and we'll see you guys another time. Bye bye. See you around, true believers. Hmm. Yeah, the that I like the review. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's a. I don't like what they said about the episode being not giving you a good impression. I to me, I think it gave you a good impression of what the show is going to be about. And to be honest, I think what they were trying to do with the angels is basically says that heaven is corrupted a little bit, that they are a little bit high and mighty because they live a good life on like hell. Because heaven is, well, maybe, maybe not an actual lore because I believe in lore, an actual life heaven. 
they're not corrupted. They're actually divine beings. So I guess in Hasman Hotel Heaven, they are just corrupted, I guess, from living a high life and living. Also, if people didn't notice, uh, apparently God is not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it, but basically, there was an Instagram post saying on Howl Boss saying that God's not in heaven. He's that he's not in heaven. So, yeah, that's not even a spoiler. That's just an Instagram post. So, yeah. But with that said, with the Howl Boss trying to. Uh, Instagram posts, but yeah, but yeah. Um, what do I think of that review? Um, I think it's I like I like the review. Don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of criticisms with the review because I do not agree with them whatsoever. And how is forever? You really hate you don't like the song really. I know Godzilla Vito said it's a good song, but yeah, whatever. I'm not even gonna go into detail of. I think the episode's okay. Don't get me wrong; it has its problems. Mostly, <laughs> mostly the stuff that has to do in the other half of the episode. That's mostly the part that. Doesn't really ruin the episode, but it kind of makes it drag on a little bit longer. Because um, he, Adam's a little bit of a dick, and yeah. Don't get me wrong, I do kind of like dick characters. I do love characters who are dicks. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but. Uh, Because those are my favorite types of characters, I guess. But I don't mind Adam. Loot not Loot is pretty much forgettable. And most of the characters are plus like all the other characters are, I like them. But I think the episode is sort of great. And as for the review, I do like the review. I think it's good. And this video has been going on for like an hour and two minutes. And for like a forty minute video. <laughs> But with that said, this is an ability to sign off. And remember, stay big, has been hotel fans. See you in the next one. Bye bye.